Hi, I'm Mary Perkins. Welcome to Point Bonita. Here at the YMCA, we offer affordable, tailored outdoor education programs for grades K through 12. We're only 10 minutes away from San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, but it feels like we're a world apart. What you see all around you is our outdoor classroom. Miles and miles of hiking trails and an abundance of plant and animal life that kids can explore and learn from. Now this lagoon, is it freshwater or saltwater? No. Is it as salty as the ocean? No. no. It's brackish. One of the things that sets us apart is our staff, because they're so passionate about what they do. Not only I get to hike for a living with kids <laughs> in nature, um, but more than that, I get to kind of cultivate future ambassadors of the environment. Um, I teach them to love the environment, and when you love something, you protect it. I think when kids learn about concepts in a classroom, they don't, they aren't real yet. And when they see them actually taking place in nature, they become real to the kids, and then they want to act on what they know now. It's not just something that exists in their head. There's a bird sitting in the water. It's right next to that bird. That, there it is, right there. One of the amazing things about this program is that you can cover state standards without the children even knowing that that's what's happening. Um, one example would be our pond study that we do. So basically, you just take the net and put it in the water. It'll filter out all the water, and you'll get the bugs. I've got something. What'd you get? What'd you get? I don't know, like some kind of worm. Ooh. And, and it's part of a study, an aquatic invertebrates water quality test, where the, the more invertebrates that they find, it indicates um, that, that the pond is healthier. It's, it's a really like cool, hands-on science activity that they can do. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Which one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> nice, high five! <laughs> nice! They get to get dirty, they get to get wet, and they get to find creatures that before they may have had the, ooh, what is this? And all of a sudden it's the, ah, wow, look what I found! What's this? Kayla! And the whole time the kids are actively engaged in a scientific study where we'll what they know is they're having fun. It looks like a water scavenger. Yeah. And how do we know that it's not a predaceous diving beetle though? Because they have short legs. Alright, I'll write that down. Water scavenger. Every program starts with team building and challenges here on site. This activity is the human ladder, and um, it's, it's a trust activity, and it's, it's a really good way for the kids to bond. Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah! Come on, come on, guys. When we're here together, it helps the kids to realize that this experience is about, uh, yeah, it's about me, for me to grow, and it's also about uh, the people that are around me. And uh, when they see that their actions really affect the people around them, I think that's a good, um, framework for them to understand that my actions have an effect on the world. One of our most popular challenges is bridges out um, and for that one they have planks that they have to get across these different boards um, and they're not allowed to touch the water because the bridge has been washed out by the rain um, and it's a it's a physical challenge it's tough to move those planks and they have to work together um, physically and mentally and strategically in order to get to the end. Whoa, this one's wobbly. No one can get on to the new island until everyone in their team is off of the old island, which makes it a huge challenge because they realize they have to work together. They realize every single person in the team matters. So even if one person is on that island, we all have to wait for that one person. Raquel! Come on, Raquel! It's good for me as their teacher to see them work together and um, kind of figure out strategies. And at the end of the day, they learn a lot about each other. They have these conflicts and challenges that brings them together in a cohesive group. So I love that. And it was kind of nice to like, get them to start thinking about just good character. I mean, they're about to hit like a really hard time in their lives. They're, you know, they're almost teenagers. So it's a huge lesson for them to learn. And I think they really, even in two and a half days, they were able to really kind of start building those, those concepts for themselves. It was really good. At each meal, we do this thing called garbology, where we weigh the food waste left over and then we chart it. And we also reflect on what that means. What is the food waste they have 
left over from the meal have to do with the resources needed for food, for how they can work together as a team, how they can make a difference, and just the simple act of eating every day. It's really weird. Why do we weigh your food waste? What is the point of that? A big part of our program is teaching kids about healthy living and about their food, about their diets, about nutrition. And we have a garden on site where we can take them to learn directly. They might be able to dig up a potato or harvest an onion or eat a strawberry and learn where their food comes from. We also have a couple of kinds of composting systems, a compost tumbler and a worm bin. And we can take their food waste from the dining hall straight to our garden and let the kids experience it going back into the soil. So look at it, you can actually see the compost inside of it, so it's been chewing. So basically, it takes your apple cores, it takes all that stuff and it comes so these, out. These right here are babies? Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Why do they like though? <laughs> this is what they do with it. They create this incredible soil that we're able to create our food from. So we get a lot of appreciation for our worms here and all they do for us. There's a lot of room for creativity and innovation. Staff can play off their individual strengths. This is a pedal powered composter. Um, it's a shredder. Basically a student gets on the bike and, um, and begins to pedal. And, um, and then all the other students are at a safe distance while I take the compost, which is over there in that bucket, and um, I dump it in here. And then I have a plunger. Pedal, 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 pedal. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. I love it. <laughs> As a YMCA, we have a rich culture based in youth development. What that means is that we address the needs of the whole child. Learning happens best when you address the mind, the body, and the spirit. We teach more than science. We teach um, things that don't really get taught in school. We teach a connection to nature that you don't get anywhere else. This is ice plant. It's an invasive species from South Africa and it really affects the biodiversity of the Marin Headlands. And the students get a chance to um, help remove this plant so the native plant nursery can come in, plant new plants, and improve the entire biodiversity of the Marin Headlands. Kids get a chance to make a difference. Um, right away, they see immediate results in what they did. Ready, set, go! go. My favorite activity to do with the kids on trail, I think, really involves the entire day, which is hiking Hill 88, um, which is, I think, the largest hill around here. And uh, what they get out of that experience is realizing that they can overcome challenges that they don't think they can do. Like, when they see the hill, they think, that's too big, I can't climb that. They really think that. And then they get to the top, and they're like, I did it. <laughs> so I like that. They're amazed at what they could do. And like, we came back today, they all just ran all the way back. Um, so just, that's the trick, just kind of let them do it, they can do it. The kids are playing a game that we call wave tag, and basically the ocean is it. We get kids from, you know, places like San Francisco who are in fifth grade, they're 10 years old, and they've never seen the ocean, and they're seeing the ocean for the first time, and that's pretty cool. Getting them outside, you see different sides of the kids, senses of humor, uh, things that their interests, and that helps me in the classroom day to day and get to know the kids a little better. So the, the biggest thing for me is getting to know the kids a little better. The teachers and I that have been coming here for years just love coming here. The kids love coming here. They always say when they graduate from eighth grade that this is their favorite thing they do at the school. We're teaching the kids with a lot of stories, and then they would act out different sort of scientific things with games, not really even realizing that they're learning scientific concepts, and they're just having a fantastic time in the games. And the kids are like, let's do it again! One more time! Let's do it again! <laughs> so I don't know. It's just wonderful for the kids to come here, experience something that's very close to them, but so far away in the sense that it's just different from the city. So we love this spot at Point Bonita, YMCA. Bye! This is a special place. Come out and share it with us. <laughs>